Hello and welcome to Defect of the Month. My name's Bob Willis. The defect is taken from the Defect database, created by the National Physics Laboratory. What I would like to do is mention an issue related to solder beading. Now solder beading is a process defect which has been around in the industry ever since the start of SMT. And solder beads are basically solder balls which are adjacent to some components on the printed circuit board. Most commonly chip components. However, they can also be seen around packages which are closely spaced or have minimum standoff on the surface of the board. Basically, what has happened is solder paste material has slumped underneath the package or literally been drawn underneath the package by capillary action. Now this can be related to the paste material but most commonly it can be associated with the process parameters being used. If you look at the solution to this particular problem it's modifying a stencil. Now a stencil is fairly inexpensive way of overcoming this particular problem and what you're doing is reducing the amount of solder paste which is present underneath the package in the solder or non-solderable areas. However if you take your stencil data directly from the design data and the design footprint is incorrect to start off with, this is really a design issue. And when looking at closely spaced terminations, you could, should consider this and possibly reduce the amount of pad underneath the body of the component, which is not actually underneath the solder termination area. This video clip shows quite nicely solder bead formation and also we show a number of examples of how modifications can be conducted to overcome this using stencil technology. Another opportunity to solve your soldering process problems has been brought to you by IPC. This is the NPL Defect Database Live, a feature that has been organized at Apex this year. So why not join us on stand 217 at Apex for free consultancy on any of your process defects.